Well, Barrel Village was started in 1972 by a couple of Mondavi employees. Robert Mondavi was one of the first to really bring in French oak barrels and make them part of their wine program. In those days, the barrels were made in France, disassembled for shipping, and then reassembled and finished here in the States. So the Cooper just sent over a couple of Coopers to work with the Mondavi employees and teach them how to put barrels back together. After a while, the, the employees, not being dumb, thought they were onto something here and quit Mondavi and started Barrel Builders, and that was in 1972. I came to work for them in 1974 as an apprentice Cooper, and I've been here ever since. This has sort of been, maybe been the school, the incubator for Coopers around. Most of the Cooperages around have employees here or owners that started at one time or another and learned at Barrel Builders here. Because in Europe, you can go to school to learn to be a cooper. Here you can't. You have to do it in one of the cooperages. In 1986, four of us employees bought the company from the old owners, and I bought out my last partner in 1990. So I've sort of worn most of the hats in, in the company here. Although I have a foreman now who's French trained. He went to school for it, as you can in Europe. French trained who could run circles around me on a, on a bad day. So he's very good at what he does. This is not our manufacturing cooperage. We built the first modern cooperage on the West Coast and sold that to our French companies uh, quite a few years ago. But what we do here is we're set up to make individual staves, one-offs, and custom work. We uh, make barrels, off-size barrels, work on tanks. Well, the new barrel costs in the range of especially French oak, the best part of $1,000 a barrel. A barrel does three things for the wine. One, one is it holds typically 60 gallons of wine, so it's a storage container. Two is the barrel breathes, so the wine ages and matures in the barrel. There's some slow transpiration through the wood. And with care, a barrel will do that for decades. But the third thing, the imparting of some oak characters into the wine, diminishes rapidly. And after three or four years, those flavors are gone, or you'd have to leave the wine in the barrel so long, it just doesn't make economic sense. So in this case, what one of the things we do is, and we have a machine over here that does it, we can take a barrel apart and carve about a quarter of an inch out of the inside of the barrel. And it gets rid of the spent wood, it exposes new wood. Typically, we'll put it over a fire afterwards and re-toast it up again, so very similar to the original barrel. And so you can do that for about $150 a barrel. So while not being perfect, it extends the life of the barrel by a couple of more years. These are barrels we brought in from a customer to cut. Um, there's, not every winery likes to do it, and certainly the, the highest and most premium wineries would shudder at the thought of doing this. But wineries in the trenches more that, you know, that have a budget to look after and stuff like this is much more commonly done. This is a used barrel we got some time ago from Alpha Omega. Alpha Omega is the winery that had this barrel when it was new. Uh, we have brought it in here used and I frankly don't know the history of it other than that. But that's where it started. It was originally made in France by this cooperage, Marks. And this is in Bordeaux, so the cooperage is in Bordeaux. Jupil is the forest area designation where the wood for this barrel came from. Um, given that a lot of winemakers assume that they think of a terroir of trees as well as vineyards, uh, there are some taste differences that seem to be associated with different forest areas. Artisanal, I'm going to say, I don't know what that means in this barrel particularly. I'm going to assume it's probably the way this wood, this barrel was toasted. Most cooperages, including Marchive, our cooperage, have proprietary toasts for different reasons, say a, a toast for Pinot Noir. And then this, of course, is the year the barrel was manufactured, Great. so it gives you an idea. My favorite wineries were the ones where the lees ran down the driveway, which of course includes most home winemaking operations as well, and they are my favorites.